Mason. I have a rich family history in uniting people, and we need to stand behind our president, Donald Trump, because he's tackling some pretty difficult issues such as political correctness, such as the snowflakes on the left, yeah. and the rhinos within the Republican Party. So I'm going to lead in prayer, and then I want to share just a couple things for you to be praying about as it relates to Donald Trump, because this man needs our prayer as much and more than he needs our vote. Amen. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness to the United States of America and to Michigan for giving us your mercy and another chance when we deserved lots of judgment for the death of 55 million babies yeah. and for the, the things that we've done in the name of God that were atrocities before your face. And so, Lord, as a group of people, we stand to humbly repent and ask that you would support with angelic hosts the President of the United States, Donald Trump, and his administration. Father, we thank you that you have given Donald Trump a backbone. Yes. And that you have given him the fear of the Lord that he is looking to rise up and give the church and, and, and the Jewish community a speaking voice once again. Yeah. Preach it. Donald Trump, to be clear, is not our savior. Right. God already sent that guy. Yes. <laughs> Donald Trump is a stop, like a doorstop, to stop political correctness, which is an ideology out of Karl Marx. <laughs> he is a stop against the media that tends to spread lies and fake news. Yeah. He's a stop against the agendas of both parties Amen. that want rulership among the elite and not among we the people. Yeah. So we must pray to support him so that he will stand and not back down so that we the people will have liberty and freedom because it's our unalienable right from God. And we declare this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen.